You can hear that. Filled with water. As full as I thought I would need it. And um, yeah, there's just like a little cap here on top. You screw on it, just used a, a hose. <laughs> I didn't even have the right fitting, so I had to hold it against the tab. Literally took me five minutes to fill up full with water. I'm not using sand because this is not just when you're putting in, it's not all hollow. If you actually, let me tighten this because I was going to show you guys the one of the reasons I picked this one over the power core on some other ones. The fact the base is not ridiculously big. It's really wide though, so it's good that way. But also, moving it from room to room, you can put it on its side and the cap is really good. And you can just roll this. So you're not going to have to keep draining it all the time. Getting sand out of this would be an absolute nightmare. Because, like I said, it's not just all hollow. Like you see at the back, it's there's a hole there. So there's these little tube sections to where it goes down and fills up these compartments here. So it's not like you can just stick your hand and scrape out a bunch. It would be a nightmare putting sand in this. I would recommend water. Uh, I'm going to put a spot of bleach in this. It doesn't recommend anything to do with that. I'm just doing that myself because, listen, this is probably not going to get emptied for a while. And it might get a bit funky. And a tiny spot of bleach isn't going to do any damage. And it's going to go a long way. But this is one of the cool things I like about this, the fact that obviously you would need to unscrew the, the rest of it if you wanted to do it. But you can roll it to another room and really, um, I can even lift that up myself, you know what I mean? Um, so that's great. And you can see here when it's down, if I'm kicking it, remember this isn't even full but I'm, I'm kicking that like, and it's barely moving, you know what I mean? when the bag is on here and you're hitting the bag as well unlike the power core which has more of a cat come on man please we're, we're, hey come on we're working here um the power core is more of like a what do you call it? the stem part is like solid to the thing so it doesn't move a lot and it can crack whereas this one with the the stem on this one is designed to you know go back and forth without the base moving so it's I'm going to be good hopefully but yeah we're going to go and get the rest of this set up and then we will um show you the finished product i just wanted to point out because that's something i was looking at online i couldn't see anyone uh mention anything about that but because some of them then they've got the caps here on the side and they're really weak they're just like little kind of push in ones this one's a nice secure tightening one if you wanted to move this around So now that you've got your base filled with water, cap on secure, um, you're going to get the neck, which is this part, or whatever this part is called. There is four holes. And what do you know? There's four holes. Look at that. Line them up. And don't put one in and tighten it. One in, screw it in a bit. Get them all in first, and then just work around and tighten them all. Um, so that's the next stage. Get this on the four bolts. Now that the neck is secured on, you can literally screw them down to the base with your hand um, till the right about touching it, and then literally two tons of the allen key and they're solid uh, the next step will be there is three screws on this bit just going to remove them like that once you've removed the screws you are then going to have this part here which where is it this bit here you just pull out and turn and then it kind of slides apart into two parts you want the bit that says omniflex um, because as you can see there it has the three matching screws and you are just going to set this on there like that obviously line up the, the screws find out where they line up and then you're going to screw them in using the three screws that you took off so you'll now have something like this base, neck, 
four bolts, the Omniflex pole um, on top of the neck with the three screws in. It goes up, and then you've got this bit here. Next bit is these three bits. Big dildo looking thing. The mouse pad thing, like a, it's like a kind of soft rubber there. And then the base of the, you know, the, the bag itself. This bit is really simple. This goes on there like that. Obviously locked in, you screw that in. And then you have this come down over this. And then you screw that in as well, so you'll have something kind of like that. And then it's literally just a case of lifting this up and then just sliding this stick down into, into this and it will lock in place and you can adjust the height with this and that will be you pretty much set up. So just again, this is it screwed on. The uh, what do you call it? The, this this kind of pole bit first. This neck, this um, ring over this pole screwed in. The four holes match up. This bit here, you can see the lock bits there. Just slide that into here. Obviously, you can uh, um, you have to pull this out and then twist it one way to 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 let it go or to tighten it the other way. So we'll get that done now. And here you go, this is how it should look. You got the base there, going all the way up. This is, I think this is as low as it can go. Um, so there you go. And just to show you it's working. Good, you need to play around with it. Uh, probably best to use it a few times so it loosens up a little bit. Then go back around and tighten all the nuts again just to give it a bit. But I'm, I'm hitting that like quite hard and <laughs> quite hard there. You can see there the base really doesn't move. I'm gonna hit it a couple of times, not you know full power, but just enough that it's not weak. Like you can see, remember my base isn't even uh, filled full and it's with water. And look, it's really just the pole that's flexing. I'll hit it up quite a bit harder and might lift a little bit. But the good thing about this base being really wide but low to the ground. Um, as you can see, you really don't, it's not even sliding, it's on carpet, it's not even sliding, there's no mat underneath it. You know, I mean, this is going to be good for some bah, 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 bah. Some good cardio goes around. And, yeah, I'm just so happy with that cat. What do you think? What do you think, dude? What do you think, girl? What do you think, my darling? Huh? You like it? Oh, you're a little kitty. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Hey guys, so I'm going to show you um, just a quick little um, mess around with the Everlast, um, what's it called, Everflex or something? Oh shit, I forgot the name of it, so sorry, but it'll be in the title anyway. But we're going to mess around with the bag a little minute, just hit it a few times, see what it's like just um, with the Jesus cat. Um, just see what it's like, how... how easy it is to tip the base over or not easy um see you know how much it springs back when you hit it um what the sounds like just so you can see a little bit of it messing around and um, we'll just have a little bit of fun with it and just see um i'll even embarrass myself by throwing a few kicks in there and stuff because it is quite good for kicking now keep in mind i am by no means any kind of expert i barely i'm not you know i don't i'm not trying to say like i mean you shouldn't be looking at this video trying to get any kind of technical help or anything this is really just to show you the product the bag to show you what um the bag is like and what you can expect from it okay okay let's go let's go um so i think you can see that so it's got like a good amount of flex. It's not the noisiest thing in the world, but it's not the quietest either. You need to be, you know, you need to keep that in mind. This is kind of set up in my gaming room. The only thing I need to do is move the chair that the cat is absolutely torn to pieces. I just turn that around to get a bit more space and then it gives me this kind of, you know, room to walk around here and, and um, you know, just kind of move around. Uh, well, that's enough space, that's all I really need. Just to have a little bit of fun with it.
And oh, I probably should point out the base I have got filled with water, not sand. And I I don't see how you can fill this one with sand. Most of them you can fill with sand or water. Sand's a little bit heavier, but it's a bit harder to get out. Cat, what the hell are you doing? She's trying to get after last night's McDonald's. You do not touch that. Um, but yeah, mine's just filled with water, and mine is not even filled to the top. It's a, it's a little bit off the top. Um, but as you can see, I mean, the thing really doesn't move. I mean, if I'm, you know, doing something like putting a bit more power into it, like that, you know, then it's, it's going to move like that. But it's a really wide base, so... I mean, it really doesn't, you're not going at this full power, that's not what this is designed for. Um, so, you're really not going to have much issues with it, you will get a little bit of movement. And what I was going to say about the base is, um, the, it's not like just all a hole. There's like, there's a hole here at the top where you fill it up, but then it goes down like a little tube area into each section, which is why I think this one really is only for water. Because to get this, if you've got sand in there, you would never get it out, put it that way. Um, but yeah. <sighs> See there, it's just coming up a little bit, but it's really not much of an issue. I can move around. Throw some. You know, decent punches um, with it springing back I've messed around with this for like a, a week now with it springing back you do tend to when you first go on it it's not like a heavy bag where you're gonna boom, and then it's gonna you know kind of stay right where it is and you're going back in if you're like doing like a, a jab and then following that up sometimes if you if you're hitting this hard um, and it's springing back you tend to overreach with the follow-up punch uh, but you, you get used to it, after like one or two goes on it, you get used to it and you find a rhythm of how to work with this. And like I said, like the, you can adjust here and move up or down. This is kind of towards the, towards the probably the, the middle, I would say, of it. But you know, you can get like kicks in there and stuff and it's, it's going to be good, you know. Or balls, you can do a lot of stuff with this bag. It's a really good product. My footwork looks a little bit off. It's because I've got the fucking weight bench here, I've got the chair there, I've got the gaming PC over there. Bam! So we have to adjust how we move around in here. But you can see, I mean, I've, I've hit it with some decent shots, and the thing is not tipping over other than the, you know, the odd like kind of shot like this. Like, even like if I'm 
I'm trying to try and throw some kicks, but, but like I said, I cannot throw kicks. This is for your entertainment. Laugh all you want, but I'll, I'll try, I'll try. I feel like I'm going to paralyze my, my lower back doing that shit. See what I mean there, there, when I tried to go a little bit faster after a, a couple of a couple of the, the first initial parts of the combination, it starts to go back, and then the last two shots there, I felt like I was overreaching. So I was, as it was coming back, I was catching it, but I was, you know, it, it was further back than I was anticipating. So that's the thing I mean, where you know you, you'll, you'll adjust to that, but. This is so, this cost me £189 and honestly, it's so much better than I expected it to be. It really is. It really is. So even there, like when I, what I've noticed is sometimes, sometimes I'll, I'm going to jab the body first and then I'm coming up, I'll, I'll maybe, I'll try and like clip at a slight angle and that, I've noticed that stops it tipping as well, but like I said, look, oh, it's really not moving that much, and I think the difference with this one and a lot of other ones is, a lot of other ones it's thick here and this part doesn't move as much, so when you hit it, the whole thing tends to tip with it and also the bases tend to be taller but more narrow whereas this one is wider and that really does help it I think as, as well as the kind of suspension thing whatever you want to call that but I'm gonna try. I'm trying to knock it over. Okay, look. I'm already feeling the sweat. You get a good workout. I I usually like I'll, I'll take a note of when I start, and I won't go with like a, a specific like time in mind of how long I want to do. But I'll, I'll I'll go and then I'll I'll check the time I started and then I'll I'll look. And usually I've found that I'm spending anywhere between 15 to 20, sometimes 25 minutes on it, and by the end of it I'm I'm sweating really sweating and I've got a good workout and I do this every day before I go and do the weights. I do my weight section which is like a, a two hour thing and then um, and uh, yeah, it just gets, gets me warm, it gets me that sweat going and then I get into the weights and I, you know I just feel great. But, and the great thing about this, let me just very quickly show you with how the gloves on because one of the, the main things that I loved about this is I was 
you know, under the impression I might need to move this change between rooms and stuff. And all I need to do, this is like, I screw this, three screws here, and I'll take this off. That takes all that off. The base, then I can turn on its side because the water is, there's something in here that's screwed on so that the water won't get out. Uh, but it's a, above it's the cap. But I can turn it on its side and I can roll this to to a, another room if I if I need to change where I want the the bag to be and that's something that you know I really like about this as well and a lot of them they have like a little cap on the edge here and it's just like a little kind of push in one and that would potentially cause I've seen some people on YouTube when I, I, I walked through a, diff, a bunch of different products and some people were saying you know they had issues with leakages this one is a really good screw on thing on the top and I've tried rolling it around this room a little bit just to see you know just to see how, how it is and it's it's fantastic Said, you know you can just do whatever you want in here half the time like these kicks like I'm not fucking trained on anything I'm not I'm just doing this because I'm you know just getting a good workout doing it mainly I'm just kind of boxing around it and I throw the kicks in just to you know add something else just to get my body going but let's have another few shots on it and and we'll call that a day because I want to go play Apiax Legions. These I love these gloves. I've got a few pairs and these they just they're, they're just such a really nice snug fit. They feel really good on. Um, and they're not really expensive. I think, what were they, like 30, 40 pounds, something like See what I mean about how I'm, I'm, I'm intentionally trying to graze it and, and, and hit it a little bit because I've noticed that if I hit it direct on, I get the kind of lift up and it's not that it's an issue, it's just trying to be courteous with the noise. Whereas if I'm grazing it, you see it, it moves it, but it's a hell of a lot quieter for my neighbors. <laughs> so, so, so what I'll just do, I'll do like, if I hit it here, here it doesn't tip over, I hit it kind of midway, it won't. Um, so... You see what I mean there? A couple of those shots, the bag was not, it didn't snap back as quickly. So, oh, I'm going to do it again. If I stay here and I don't move, I don't step in, I'm going to start uh, missing shots, you know?
I've filled it already, guys. I think the, the key is just to stay consistent, keep the heart rate up. Every now and again, I'll just throw in some just little things like this, just to keep me moving, keep our rhythm up. Not really, not really. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do this in boxing. I know you, you wouldn't keep your hands there like that. This is really just to keep the rhythm going, keep my my heart rate up. There's definitely certain combinations of shots that work really well. Um, I mean, you can even you can even do like you know, knees and stuff. You can do whatever you want. You see me doing that again? I pretend I'm John Jones and I do that thing where he kind of pulls out his hand, leans in with that. It's all about fun. That's what it is on the bag there. The Omniflex. How about you Omniflex this motherfucker? Aye! 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 Sorry, guys. I missed that one. But you see, I'm not, I'm not hitting it full power, but I'm, I'm definitely not hitting it soft. And other than the real, you know, ridiculous shot that you really shouldn't be doing with this, they're kind of BAM! You know, it's, it's kind of staying on the ground. It's not even, it's not even kind of moving, like sliding across the carpet. You know, it's just so happy with this. For the money, I really don't think you'll find something better than this. And... Yeah, let me show you this as well, might as well. I am sweating. But, so that, I think this was on middle, on the kind of middle setting. But you just pull this little thing out here. And can it go down anymore? No, I think maybe I had it on the bottom. Yeah, I had it on the bottom, so. I can go up to there. And I think I can go another one higher. Yeah, I can even go up here. Let's try, let's try kicking up there. This, this is where, see I had, so I had it on the bottom one, and I, I think the reason I settled on that, although I really liked it, probably on the middle one, I think the bottom one is the, the least uh, likely to kind of tip it over. And on, and, and it's, the, it's the one that has the, the quickest snap back because there's less, you know, to, less whatever. What do you want to call this length? I don't know. But there's less with this one when it's up like this. You know, you you over you overhit your punches a little bit more. So this might even be better for something like you know just kicking if you want to get like this kind of. See there, 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 you see it's, it's slower to come back to you, you know, so you, you need to be a bit more patient, you need to mix up your rhythm. But like I said, you know, you, you mess around with this and, and you, you'll find what suits you and, you know, it gets better. Oh, I can't kick with this one, I'll try, I'll try with this one, I, I fall over if I kick with this one. Oh, okay, okay, that was okay. Oh. Uh, I'll do some boxing with this one just to see how much it moves. Um, be surprised if anyone's still watching at this point, to be honest. What do you think, Kat? Huh? What do you think? You 
can see how snug these gloves are to get on, but when they're on, they just just fit perfect. So you can see here, like this is the, the height of me with this one. This is on the the tallest one, and I think it's like about my height, and I think I'm like five ten, so. Yeah. You see there though there it's a lot you know slower give. Swings around a bit more. Change up your rhythm, change up your speed. That's not even tipping, is it? Let's see if we can get it to tip, yeah? Let's see if we can get it to tip. And then let's go back down to the bottom one. This is my favorite one. And you can see even on the bottom one, it's still almost kind of face height for me. A little bit lower, obviously, but you know, face height enough to where you don't feel like it's too low. Uh, at least if you're my size, if you're like six foot 10, then fucking go and fight a tree or something, but. Silly, and I'm just like having fun. I get too excited with it. Spunk my leg there.
And we're gonna wrap up in a minute, guys, because I need to get into the weights and oh shit, it's nine o'clock. But I don't start till two! Till two! Oh shit. Alright, I forgot to show you guys. This is probably the best thing that this is for, right? So like, I'm, I'm all out, but if you want to work on your skills, I'm going to show you some actual genuine technical stuff to help you guys, alright? This is genuine boxing stuff for you guys. So your beer goes there, yeah? And you're going to want to... Oh, I took the wrong glove off, shit. You're going to jab. So we're going to want to jab, jab. One second. I'm going to want to jab. Jab, jab, double jab. And then we're going to slip down with this glove here, right? So you're going to jab, even just a single jab, yeah? Jab to the face, yeah? We're going to step in, jab to the face. Come down, garden up, pick up the beer, we're gonna lean back, and we're gonna sip, yeah? So we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna jab, jab, slip, sip, and then again. Okay, okay. Jab, jab, slip, sip. Okay. And on a jab, jab, duck, chug, duck, chug. Jab, slip, sip, I'm out of there for you. You getting done today. Okay, guys, that's enough. That's enough. Still got the ways to do it, I'm, I'm bloody shattered. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Really, just a bit of fun, just to show because when I was looking at the product, when a lot of the things that I was worried about, you know, I just I couldn't see in a lot of the videos. So, just wanted anyone that's interested in it, I just wanted them to be able to see. Um, pretty much just um how the product is when it's being used by someone who's you know not a professional just some, you know your average person who's you know got it set up in his game room and just wants to use it getting fit and you know just putting some combinations together having a bit of fun and yeah it's really good so thanks for watching guys and i will see you at the next video if there is one i'm quite inconsistent